What's shaking, Chewy Nation? Chewbacca Lemon here, back with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. Today we're talking about the Combine promo, everything Combine. Also, the same day this is going live, there's going to be a Fortnite video come out later. If you could check that out, that would be much appreciated. Even if you hate it, uh, just let me know. I mean, you might hate it. I, I hope you don't. I think I, think I tried real hard, okay? Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. But let's talk about Madden today. Or right now, I should say. Let's talk about solos. We're also going to talk about objectives. We're going to talk about how to get that 96 overall free card by doing solos and head-to-head. -head. So sort of free. Got to got to put in a little bit of work. And then just all these new cards that came out. And my thoughts on the promo. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think the promo overall is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy it. I, I think I think it's pretty solid overall. I don't have as many coins as I would like. But overall, I think we're doing okay. First up, 12 solos, full games. Yay! Not really, but overall the rewards are pretty good. The card values are pretty high for you know this, so not going to complain too much, except a little bit. We will complain a little bit. Full games on sim and competitive, not that fun overall, but overall, okay. 12 games, take you a little bit of time. You'll get some combine badges for doing that. Also, when you're doing that, make sure, now I've already done the objectives, Make sure you're doing your objectives. I would recommend doing them double dipping. 450 passing yards, do it on one of those. I do it like maybe on the last one maybe. That's four minute quarters, you know, the longer ones. You know that you need more time. If you got a good team, you'll be able to still bomb them. They're slow. You can just lob it up. Even on sim or competitive, they're just blow by them for the most part if you got some fast guys out there. But still, I would recommend doing it. 450 passing yards is one you need three sacks, two interceptions. You might not be a bad idea to try to do those while doing those solos. That way you kind of double dip and get those done. If you did those, I'm not going to talk about the online head-to-head -head yet. If you did those, you are level 40 to 49 and you have to do one set. If you did the set that I did, which is the very first set, you should have a total of 28 badges. All you have to do to do the set, 83 to 88, click on it, go ahead and find a good deal. Sort by buy now. I would recommend doing it by one of these positions and try to find a good deal. Let's try right tackle. You're going to find one cheaper, definitely. 13000 Go ahead and pull the trigger. 13000 That's also a really good way to snipe, by the way, just a heads up. Uh, go ahead and snag that and do the set. And now you did the set. You got all those extra badges. You got a badge from doing that. And now you can do the combined champion stuff. Now, you do get one by just logging in. You get a pick one of the six. I picked Evan Ingram. I, I think that he's he definitely could be the case for the best one. We're going to talk about all of them, though. I'm not sure. Is that the best decision? It depends on your team, of course. But if you do that, you need a total of four there, eight there, 12, and then another 22. You know, you have to put the old one in as well. For a total of 34 badges to get the 96 overall. But I told you, if you're like me, level 40 to 49, from not doing anything head-to-head -head yet, you get 28 from doing that set. If you are level 50, I think you get one more badge for a total of 29. You're still short. All that means is you got to grind some head-to-head -to, -head to get the rest of that, which isn't really that big a deal if you like playing the game. Weekend League, that's a good way to do it. If you are playing Weekend League, you can go ahead and do that. And I think there will probably be more opportunities in the next few days to get some more badges as well. But just a heads up, head-to-head -head is what you're going to want to do. And then you'll get these cards Evan Ingram, you can choose him. Again, you can also, if you didn't get, if you didn't like the, you could actually get another one if you wanted to. Um, so I don't know if we'll have, how many extra badges we're going to have laying around. But I got Evan Ingram. You could also get more of those. But as of now, there's just not enough badges out there. I don't think there's any other way to get badges. I don't think there are they in packs or anything like that. Not that I'm aware of. But for now, we'll go with, we can get, we at the, as of this time, you can get a 96 overall by just playing the game solos and head-to-head. -head. Evan Ingram, Don Terry Poe, Miles Garrett, Byron Jones, Christian McCaffrey, and Brandon Cooks. Let's talk about those six and see which ones you guys like the most. Now, I will say I'm sick, so I have a cough drop in my mouth, so I want to apologize there. Really am sorry about that. First up, Don Terry Poe. Of course, he was going to sell him like that. Looks cheap. Let's look at Don Terry Poe. Positives. Secure tackler. That's great. 77 speed at defense tackle, not terrible, honestly. When you look at like Snacks, who has like 59 speed, secure tackler is great. Negatives, his highlight, his positive, you know, the big thing that's overwhelming is strength. People tend to think that strength is not really that big a deal. 
and Madden 18. We're not really seeing it translate on the field. So maybe that's not as important as, say, Block Shed at 93. 93 Block Shed is not too overwhelming when there's a lot of guys that you can get up to 99 Block Shed. This guy with Von Miller, you can get up to 95. Still very good, pretty solid, 92 power move. But when you, you could move like Jadavion Clowney in the middle. It also has Secure Tackler, or move somebody in the middle, and they can get that Secure Tackler still. It's a good card. I would recommend this card. I think it's going to play well. But for me, he's not the kind of card that for that 450k price tag that I would be willing to pay. Obviously, his price will come down, but I just think that for that price, I would recommend not getting Don Terry Poe. That's, of course, my opinion. Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks, 96 speed, has the route running. You see him compared to DeAndre Hopkins. He's plus three speed, which is awesome. Has playmaker, which is great. Really good card overall. His jumping is low, I guess, at 89. But outside of that, super cool card. With, of course, with playmaker, makes him you know, a top-end wide receiver with that speed. I think he's going to be great. John Ross at 98 speed, which I'm not really going to talk about. That he has decent stats across. I think John Ross for 120K is pretty much a pretty big bargain right now. But this Brandon Cooks looks looks awesome. 96 speed. I think you could make the case to get this card as fast, as super fast, and he also can have good route running with that. Overall, not much better than John Ross, though. That's the only knock. John Ross is faster and not quite all the other stats, but with that plus two speed, maybe that makes up for it a little bit. And at 120k, when this is 450k, again, the only knock is how expensive these cards are. I think it's a really, really good card, but is he that much better than, say, a John Ross that goes for like a third of the price, or even like almost a fourth of the price? I'm not sure I can make that case. The route running, you know, being at 90 for Ross, I think it's at, and this is at 94. I mean, that, of course, that's a little bit not hitting that 91 route running. You could argue. I would say the Cooks is better, but. I don't know. I, I think it's a really good card. I just don't know, in my opinion, if it's worth, again, that 450 k price tag. Evan Ingram. So this is the guy I'm going to get. I'll get him soon. The only knock I could find on this Evan Ingram, really, I mean, 93 speed, phenomenal, is that he's, I guess, not as good as Bo Jackson. But with that said, he's not, and maybe he is almost as good. If not, I don't understand why Bo Jackson has a 75 cap. Evan Ingram has 56. He has Playmaker, which is better. The guy on the left looks like a better receiving tight end overall. He doesn't have strength, but I think we already said that doesn't maybe matter as much this year. Run block is better on the left. The catching stats, the route running. He's got catch and traffic, spec catch, everything on bow outside of two speed. I'm going to say two because most people are running those zero chill uniforms that give that plus one speed. 95 to 93 is noticeable a, a little bit, but how is it a 19 cap difference? I think a lot of people would say that guy on the left is the best tight end in the game. I'm still not sure. Maybe because people can sub in tight end, put him in at fullback. Maybe he could be a running back and you can. he has more vers versatility, I'm guessing. That's the only thing I could think of why his salary cap is at 75. But And also, if you run Bo at tight end, you can't run him at running back. So that's why I'm thinking Evan Ingram is at least on the, he's he's got to be considered one of the best. You may not say he's the best, but he's definitely one of the best. All right, Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett has 86 speed, which is pretty good. I guess we can look, you see, we have the card. Isn't that nice that they did that? 86 speed, 96 strength again. I don't like that being the, the highlight. 94 black shed is solid. Uh, 94 power move, finesse move. Pretty good card overall. He's obviously not Jason Taylor. He doesn't have secure tackle. Jump the snap is really unfortunate. The only knock I have on this card is he doesn't have secure tackler. The card looks really good, and he's obviously not Jason Taylor, but who is? I mean, it's like Jason Taylor is phenomenal. The card looks great. If you go Miles Garrett, you won't be disappointed, I don't think. I just think that you're comparing. I'm comparing him to the best right in the game, so it's hard to say. Like you can't miss necessarily see it, but for me, uh, it's, it's a very very good card. Here he here's how he compares to J.J. Watt. I mean, J.J. Watt is a very, very good card, and you see he's, he's pretty he's he's pretty good. Miles Garrett's pretty good. Christian McCaffrey. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that Jamal Charles is on our team, which he, he wasn't on our team before. I picked him up. Excited to use him. 93 C, speed, pretty solid. Agility, excel, great. Carrying's a little low. Could be a little bit nervous about that. He meets the spin. 
juke move thresholds. Now, he's not obviously as elusive as Charles, but Christian McCaffrey has 91 route running. This guy's going to be an absolute beast receiving the ball. You know, an excellent receiving back. So, yes... It's kind of a niche sort of thing. He's not the best runner of the football, but out of the backfield, or you can even put him in, you know, wide receiver. Though you might have better, better wide receivers. Really, really good card. I think he can get over uh, undervalued a little bit because, you know, you look at it and it's just there's so many running backs. But having the 91 route running, I think um, Camara might have it, but he might be the only other running back that has it. I, I really like this card. I think it's a little bit. A little bit, you can overlook it a lot, I think. Uh, but I think it's pretty solid. Byron Jones, 56 cap, 93 speed. It's so unfortunate that it's a free safety because it just is going to be underwhelming to everybody not named Sean Taylor, pretty much. Even Paul Krause is going for, like, nothing because of the fact that Sean Taylor exists. The only knock on him is he's, you know, he's not Sean Taylor. I mean... He could obviously have higher tackling. His power is low. I mean, there is other knocks. He has tip drill. It's an okay card, but it's a free safety. In my opinion, worst one of the bunch. There's no way I would ever do this card, especially since I have Sean Taylor. Maybe I'm wrong, but, I mean, he's 6'1". Sean Taylor is even 6'2". He's obviously going to have really high jumping. I'm guessing his jumping is going to be, like, really high. I just don't see how that even close to make Yeah, 98 jumping. That's insane. But I'm sorry. I just don't see a tip drill. No, thank you. Uh, nah. All right, let's look at the Warriors. These you can't get from, you know, like the free ones. But these are other cards that are out there. Let's just talk about them real quick. Patrick Peterson. A worse Marshawn Lattimore. I thought I have his power up. You see it. I could do it, but then I can't auction off the power up. And he's basically just a worse Marshawn Lattimore. Or about Marshawn Lattimore, but once he's powered up. That's just not worth it. It's 96, 97, I guess. I guess it makes sense, but isn't he just worse? No, thank you. Mr. Armstead here. Compare him to Orlando Pace, one of the best left tackles in the game. Uh, went to Ohio State, of course. Run block. Look at that pass block. Great impact blocking up at 96. Really good card. Uh, awareness. Has great speed for that. I don't know when you pull your left tackle, though. Do you pull him much? Having that L chemistry, uh, that lead blocker thing. I think that's what it's called. Is that what it is? Yeah, lead the way. So that's the one thing. I don't know. Is there a place where you pull your left tackle? I'm sure there are. Why else would that exist? But that's the only knock is he doesn't have secure protector. I still try to take the guy on the right because I don't know when I pull my left tackle. But Overall, with that, I don't understand why Owen and Pace's impact is 92. It should be like 99. I don't understand why that stat is not his best stat. But with that said, the card looks pretty good. But the price tag, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, Jadavion Clowney. I'm really excited to talk about this card. Gives a plus four speed on his... You see it. This card... I'm going to definitely get this card. I'm going to power him up because I'm a huge Texans fan. 89 speed. It's going to go up to 90. With John Madden, he's going to be up at 91 speed at left end. High block shed. He has physical front, so I think that's going to go up to 96. With Von Miller, it's going to go up to 98. I don't know if John Madden tier 1 gives plus 1 block shed. I don't think it does, but he's going to be at 98 block shed. Insane power move. Good finesse move. Everything. The speed. Not as good as Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor. Not as good as Jason Taylor on the other side, but Jason Taylor on one side. Jadavion Clowney on the other side. Really excited about this. And you don't even have to power him up, of course. He has Secure Tackler, which is really nice. So if you just pick this card up and use him. 500k price tag. Really expensive. But the card looks amazing. Will be a nice compliment to Jason Taylor on the ends. Big thumbs up. I like that Clowney got a card. We knew it was coming soon. I like it. Odell Beckham Jr. 95 speed. You see him compared to a DeAndre Hopkins. The problem is he's going to be great in space. Odell. You're going to like it. But... He doesn't, I, he doesn't have Playmaker. So I guess this is an L, right? Like, at this stage, 95 speed is good. But, I, I don't know. Like, I I can't get behind this card just because of that. But if you like Odell, which I know a lot of people do, it's a good card. But for the price tag, I mean, Calvin's better. I mean, minus two speed, but Calvin's better. And 
he's got play. I mean, the playmaker to me is is a game changer. So sorry, Odell. I like Odell. I, he's a phenomenal receiver, but for me, that 500k price tag, I just can't sign up for that. Sorry. And finally, we're gonna end with Ryan Shazier. Now, I hope. I of course, I hope he I, he makes a strong recovery. I'd love to see him back on the field. Just makes sense to end with this guy right here. A fan favorite, even before his injury. Obviously now, uh, of course, hopefully, hopefully he gets back. I mean, he's just be able to walk and be able to... I, I do believe we're going to see him in the NFL again. I do I do think we will. But we'll, we'll see how that comes out. Of course, that's much less important. But 93 speed with that crazy high uh, pursuit. He's got good hit power. He does not have the zone threshold, but he's at 90 if you tear him up. If you run Tyron Matthew or have John Madden, you can get up that up to 91, uh, even if you don't have John Madden with Tyron Matthew. So he doesn't even have to be a user at 93 speed, which is pretty crazy as a middle linebacker. Now, now let's look at his agility. I think that's important. 90 agility, okay, uh, for a user. Okay, so we have, we got to talk about the negatives of this card, of course. Now, a lot of people will say, if you haven't used Ryan Chazier, you can't say... I used him last year. I haven't used him this year. You can't. Like, I've always said that Ryan Chazier is not the best user in the game, and I will continue to say that because I have used Ryan Chazier last year, and though he is fast and he moves side to side very quickly, there's a few reasons why I do not think this is going to be the best user in the game, and I don't think it's really that close. One, he doesn't have secure tackler. Anthony Barr does. Anthony Barr has secure tackler or Jason Taylor. Many cards have secure tackler. I think that automatically makes them not necessarily a better user, but it definitely gives you a big step ahead of anybody that doesn't have it. So secure tackler being so good, hot hands, doesn't really matter, I don't think. I'm going to go ahead and go with the guy who has secure tackler. The second thing, the always the knock on Ryan Chazier is his height at 6'1". Now, I will tell you, I have used Deion Jones, and he is a very good user. Ryan Chazier is a better Deion Jones. So, of course, this card is going to play better than Deion Jones, 100%. I will 100% get behind that. Ryan Chazier is going to be a great user. He's just not Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr is 6'5 compared to 6'1. Anthony Barr has, at this point, I think he's at, what, like 90, 91 speed. He's fast, even though he's not as fast. He's got secure tackler. So for me, I'm, I know I, I just can't sign up for a price tag that is 500K on a card that. Like, I, I, Anthony Barr, I'm not exactly sure what he's going for, but it's it's just doesn't not having secure tackler at this stage, just to me, he's really good. I like him. I think people will like the card. I think people that use him will say he's amazing, and I 100% can understand that. But if you have Deion Jones, it's a, it's a step up, but it's not worth stepping up if you powered him up, in my opinion. If you have Anthony Barr, I wouldn't touch the card. But if you're running Tyron Matthew and you came him up even just tier 1 so you can get that 91 zone, uh, read and react, it would be nice to have that versatility where maybe you have like Bar and Shazier, and you're allowed, you can kind of move around and not have to use your Bar every play, maybe depending on your formation, depending on how you line up, or maybe you're not, you don't want to run Bar, you don't want to, you don't want to pay that coin, but you like to run Shazier, maybe you have Shazier and Deion Jones, you run a 3-4, it would be nice to have them both out there, they're both getting 91 zone, so you don't have to use them at all times. Of course, he's going to be really good not with not using him. So there is some positive vibes towards this card. And it is a good card. I just can't see the 500k price tag for someone who won't be the best user in the game ever. He isn't now and he won't, you know, obviously he won't be later on because he's not now. Not have a secure tackler. Anthony Barr is an in-game. Even at 95, I think he's an in-game card, you could say. Close to it. I mean, of course, more speed. He, you're going to get better users, but you can use him for the rest of the year. This guy, I think you're going to be a little a little behind if you're running this card towards the end of the year. But that's my opinion, of course. What about you guys? What do you guys think about the new cards? I think overall there's a lot of cards. John Ross with 98 speed is awesome for that price tag, 120 k Of course, you're going to like that. I think overall, I, I love Jadavion Clowney, even though he's 500 k or close to it. That's, that's going to be pretty cool. Patrick Peterson, a big letdown for me. I was hoping he would be... Just have a little bit more, you know, I don't even know what I want. Like, speed was, at 94 was was okay. Maybe his agility, I know that seems silly, but giving it up to 99, maybe excel up to like 97. Even given his band coverage a little bit. Toughness hurts him a little bit as well. 
you know, a lot of things could be better on this card. I think it's just that Marshawn Lattimore, you got him and you look and you're like, it's better on the right side and I can sell him or I can power up Peterson and then he's basically Marshawn Lattimore, but then why would I just not get Marshawn Lattimore, you know? So that's kind of why I'm kind of disappointed with the card because I don't want to power him up when I can just sell Marshawn Lattimore. So that's my thought. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to be a lookout for that Fortnite video as well. You guys are absolutely incredible. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma, out. Yeah.